Hey guys, well, if you spend any time at all on YouTube and you are working in Blender, then you probably heard of a channel called Blender Guru by Andrew Price, right? Now, Andrew is a very cool guy. I uh, worked with him in the past. He makes a very interesting and good Blender video, so check that out if you haven't done so already. And the reason why I'm mentioning him is because he did a very cool series on how to model a donut with modeling and texturing and all that, right? Now, I received questions from people whether I could do something similar in Maya, and I decided to do that. But before I jump into the first video, I want to give full credit to Andrew. This was his idea, his concept, and I'm just following along with that based on questions they got from my viewers, right? So I'll put a link below to his channel. Check him out. And in this first video, we're going to do the basic modeling of the donut. Here we go. Okay, everybody. Well, Maya 2020. Now, um, I'm not necessarily going to follow uh, Andrew's videos exactly. Uh, the goal here is to make a glazed donut. That's what we're going to do. I'm probably going to use different techniques, and I'm most likely going to use a somewhat uh, different speed, right? Uh, I know that uh, Andrew focused on absolute beginners. My focus is going to be on people that are fairly new to Maya, but at least have an understanding of the user interface, right? So, um, Andrew did 23 videos. I think I'll be close to uh, probably four or five or so, right? All right, that said, let's get started. Now, uh, as you can see, we're in Maya uh, and we're in our modeling menu. Top left corner, we've got a drop down menu right there. It says modeling, that's the one we want. And then we have a tab here called poly modeling with all sorts of options. And the one we want is the torus. Now you can select it here. You can also go up to create polygon primitives and then select a torus there. That's in here somewhere. I'm sure it is, there it is. Okay, now as you do that, you will have a torus that pops up on your screen like this. Now, it has some similarity to a donut, but trust me, there's a lot more we need to do, right? Okay, so first of all, looking at the donut from the top view, what you can see is that it's not perfectly smooth to begin with. And also, if you look at these individual faces going around, they're not square either. That's kind of important. So we're gonna jump back to our perspective view, right? And with the donut selected, and from now on, I'm going to call it a donut, right? We're going to hit Control A to open up the attribute editor. And we're going to go to P Taurus 1, which will give us information about the location, which is 0, 0, 0. So it's on the center of our grid. It hasn't moved in any direction, right? And then the Poly Taurus 1 tab will give us information about subdivision and whatnot, right? Okay. Now, let's say you don't like the shape of the donut. I'm going to jump to the top view. Let's say you want it to be bigger. We'll change the radius from one to two. There you go. Let's say you're okay with that. We'll go back to one. Let's say you want the donut to be a bit thinner, right? You'll change the section radius. Let's do 0 0.2. Very thin donut. But again, I like 0 0.5, so let's leave it at that. Now you can change all that stuff. But when it comes to subdivision level, what we want is for these rectangular faces here, these guys, to be a bit more square, right? So we're going to select our object, and in subdivision axis here, we're going to change that to 40. So we've got 40 by 20. Checking that out in our perspective view, what we see here is that it's a lot more square, each individual face, than it was before, right? Cool. Alrighty, now. Uh, before we move any further, uh, as you can see, this donut is way too perfect. It's perfectly uh, smooth and it's equal and it's, you know, it doesn't look organic, it doesn't look natural. So what we're going to do first is we're going to kind of tweak that a little bit. Now how do we do that? I'm going to right click and go to vertex and then I'm going to hit the B key on my keyboard. So B for ball or banana or whatever, right? So hit B. Now, when I do that, as soon as I want to select a vertex, I will have an area that's yellow, red, and even purple. Yellow is the area that's affected most when I change something. So if I have a selection of vertices, like here, right? 
and I want to impact that area by moving it. So let's hit W and move that, right? You'll see that based on how big that selection is, more or less will move, okay? So we're gonna go back to our starting point. Make sure I didn't mess up this guy, right? And I'm just gonna go in and select an area here, maybe up here, right? And very, very slightly, I'm gonna start to push and pull and tweak, right? For the simple reason, like I said, this is an organic object, right? It's man-made, it's made from dough. And I'm not a donut expert, but I assume that's what it's made of. And we're just gonna kind of mess with the shape a little bit, yeah? And you don't have to go overboard with that. Just as long as you're happy with the fact that it doesn't look perfect, right? That's kind of what we're going for here. Okay. I think that's not too bad. Yeah, that's going to work. All right. Okay. So that's our imperfect, perfect donut, right? We're going to hit B to turn that off. That's soft select. There you go. The next thing we need to do is worry about the icing. Now, there are many ways you can do this. I can jump into this view right here, right? And then I can go in here and copy part of it or copy the whole thing and delete part of it. And there are like at least, I would say, four or five ways I can think of how to do this. What we're gonna do, however, is a kind of different approach. I'm gonna go into my modeling toolkit. I'm gonna go into my multi-cut tool and I'm gonna to start to kind of draw a, um, an icing line, if you will, right? So I'm gonna start somewhere around right here and I'm just gonna jump from vertex to vertex, kind of where I would expect icing to flow around the donut, right? Maybe even all the way down here, and then we'll go up a little bit, maybe like this. And I know this looks very straight and so forth, but we're gonna address all that, right? So don't worry. So let me go down here, here, and when you do something like this, always be careful that you don't um, select things that you don't want to select and so forth. So check it carefully before you move forward, right? So we'll get there. Let's go down. Let's go up again. Maybe even here. Yeah, like this. A lot of icing on our cake, which is our cake and donut. Yeah, which is always cool. And delicious yeah all right so i'm gonna hit enter so we got that now we want something similar on the inside as well right now for some reason there's always less glazing on the inside looks like I'm not sure but i get that feeling anyway right so i'm probably just gonna speed this up or will i repeat that process have all that it's time to select the faces that we want for our icing right so I'm gonna hit Q on my keyboard I'm gonna right click go to face I'm gonna go to the top here and click and shift double click then what I'm gonna do is hold down shift and hit the period or point key right which will increase our selection like this just see how far we're at that's about right and what I'm now gonna do is kind of follow that line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down the shift key and what I don't want, I'll click on it. And what I do want, I'll click on it. That sounds weird, but I'll, uh, I'll show you. So here, for example, we've got three faces that we don't want, right? So I'm gonna hold down shift and they're now deselected. The ones that are not selected will be selected because shift will do the opposite of what's going on, right? So there you go. So we're gonna follow that line and I'm just gonna go up like this and here we want some down here and then we don't want these and then we don't want these and we do want these it's pretty straightforward and I think that looks okay and here we got a whole bunch of stuff that we don't want, which is always a good idea to check. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we're okay. Then we're gonna do the same with the inside. And once we've done that, we're gonna do a thorough check, right? So we don't want those. Let's see, I want these, which means that I, yeah, that's fine. They're okay. Don't want these, don't want these. Do want that one and that tiny little one there. And then I don't want those, I do want those. And like I said, when you're doing something like this, you are bound to click somewhere where you shouldn't and so forth. So once you have done this selection, be very, very careful to check everything. For example, right there, yeah? Okay, now the best way to do this is to simply extrude it and see what happens, right? So I'm gonna hit Control E to extrude. And let's try 0 0.05. All right, and let's see if we see any mistakes or selections or things we don't want to see and so forth. So I'm just going to spin it around first like this. And I think that looks okay. Not seeing any weird stuff. Nothing going on here that shouldn't be happening. Then we're going to check the inside and I think that looks okay too. All right. Now you're probably thinking, well, this looks way too edgy and so forth to look like icing, but we're not quite there yet because we're gonna do next is we're gonna select this guy and we're gonna hit three to do a preview of what it would look like if it were smooth, right? So we're gonna hit three. And as we do that, we'll get something looking like this. And that's much closer to an iced donut, right? Now the thing is, this is a preview smooth, not an actual smooth. So I'm just gonna select it again, hit one, and before I do that, I'm gonna tell you what we're gonna address. The flow of the icing here is a bit too soft. It looks like it's part of the donut. And it's actually two things. One is, for example, chocolate, and the other is dough, right? So we're gonna hit one to go back. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna to go to uh, Internet Edge Loop, Option Box, set that to Equal, and we're gonna add an edge loop in here, right? So as we do that, that edge will hug around all the way around the icing, right? So now if we hit Q on a keyboard, right click go to object mode and hit three to preview smooth again, it will look a lot more like, um, yeah, regular icing, right? Now, because the area on the inside is a bit tighter, you see it's kind of pinched left and right, but in one of the future videos we're gonna do is we're gonna do some sculpting, we're gonna smooth this out and so forth, and that will help uh, to make it look a lot better, right? Okay, well, that said, that's it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Bye.